In business news now, the newly inaugurated president of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Iksan Fumi Ekudayo, has promised to promote good corporate governance. She spoke during her investiture in Lagos, which was attended by high-profile people from the nation's public and private sectors. Details in this report. Gathered in this hall are friends and families of the 29th president of the Institute of Chartered Secretary and Administrators, Iksen Fumi Ekudayo. They felicitate with her as she emerges the first female president of the body after 57 years. During her acceptance speech, Ekudayo acknowledges the contributions of the founding fathers of the Institute and pledges to take the professional body to greater heights. I have no other duty or responsibility from this moment and onward but to lead and leave Ixan stronger, greater, and more prosperous than we met it. In a keynote address, the managing director of Lotus Merchant Bank, Kafilat Arawoye, speaks on diversity, inclusiveness, and corporate governance as tools for sustainable development. If the board does well, institutions get stronger and more productive, leading to long-term sustainable development. It is important, however, in all this, not to compromise competence. I get odds where people say, oh, you got a chance because you, cov you covered a, 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 um, a quota system. No. It still must be merit driven, even in our bid to achieve diversity and inclusiveness. Equal opportunity for all is all we are saying. Special advisor to the President on Monetary Policy, Adebayo Olawale Edun, and other dignitaries charge Ixen to contribute more towards national economic growth and development. Mrs. Fumi Ekundayo, one of the most diligent, one of the most enterprising people that you can find. You have pioneered a noble occurrence in the history of the Institute, which is highly applaudable. Araoye posited that in Nigeria, the quota system originally designed to promote diversity and fair representation has on occasions led its promoters to compromise incompetence. Thus, corporate organizations must be mindful of such mistake. The 29th president of Ixan speaks more. At Ixan, it is also built in such a way that subsequent governments build on existing legacies, which we plan to do. And there are a lot of other areas of focus that we also have as an administration. One of those areas is to actually continue to strengthen the capacity of our members to continue to deliver value to different ecosystems and different value chains across the spectrum of private and public um, environment, particularly at this critical stage that we are as a nation, when we're trying to rebuild, we're trying to, you know, uh, reset. Ekundayo as shows of Ixen's commitment to promoting good corporate governance in the country at all times.